Hi, this is Keith, and we're going to convert your Windows 8 Asus K55N laptop to Windows 7. First you want to do is back up your uh, Windows 8, just in case you ever wanted to uh, reinstall it. Go to Troubleshooting and Advanced Options. There you'll have a menu. It may look similar to this, where it says uh, Create a System Repair Disk, or it may say uh, System Recovery. There you can use a flash drive, or you can disable that and use a DVD. That's what I did, to have a DVD backup. And then uh, once you do that, you reboot the system, and you're going to hit F2 a couple times at the um, logo menu to get into BIOS. Once you're in BIOS, go over to the boot menu. There, you want to um, enable launch CSM, and you want to enable launch PXE OPROM. Then you reboot the system, get back into BIOS, and you'll see your regular DVD, ROM, and hard drive. You want uh, your DVD as your first option, uh, and then your hard drive, in this case it's a Hitachi, as your second option. Once you get done with that, you want to go over to the security section, and uh, secure boot control needs to be disabled. So that's got to be disabled. Save changes, reboot. Um, you have your uh, Windows 7 professional disk in the uh, DVD, and you can start loading. Luckily, I had a... Um, Windows 7 disk all ready to go. You can um, go to uh, Microsoft.com and I believe you can download a copy of uh, Windows 7 Professional and um, then work it out with them when you reboot and you just tell them you're downgrading. Once you start installing, you're going to come across this partition window. You're going to want to delete all these partitions and then create your uh, Windows 7 partition to install. Once you get everything installed, you want to, on your um, different computer, go to ASUS website and download the two uh, wireless drivers for the wireless network adapter. Um, this is important to uh, burn these to a DVD or CD-ROM because at this point, your laptop will have no USB drives working, um, no access to anything but the uh, DVD. So once you get these burned in, uh, you want to load them up. And this is a great way so that you can uh, then go out on the internet and download whatever drivers you may need afterwards because this will get everything kind of up and running for you. Um, once you get um, your laptop on the internet, then you want to go back to the ASUS website and then get the AMD chipset. This is uh, real important. Get the newest one, and that will enable all your USB graphic cards and everything. And then once you're done with that, go back and download all your utilities like your web camera and USB chargers. And there you have it, Windows 7 on Asus K55N laptop. Cheers.